Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just got a really short video today showing you how to fit a new auxiliary belt on this 2012 Ford C-Max and it's on the 1600 TDCI engine. Now just show you quickly, we've got a new belt. If you check the links in the description below, I'll um, put links to where you can get the belt from and the exact size and everything. Um, we're just going to be using 15mm spanner and you're just going to need a little pin using a drill bit here, about 4mm, probably sort of ideal size that you're going to want. Uh, we have just put a timing belt on this one a few weeks back so if you want to check out that you can check, click on the link above or check the description below we've got the auxiliary belts really straightforward job to replace which we're starting on top and if you can just see try and line that up a bit this sort of this piece of there on top is the actual tensioner we're basically going to need to put the 15 mil spanner just over that we're going to be pulling it towards the front and then you can just see little hole in there basically what we're going to be looking to do is just pull that past the hole and then locate the drill bit in there and that'll lock the tensioner uh, into place so that the tension's off the belt and then we can remove the belt so we'll just do that quick and then just put it up in the air and just show you the routing of the belt Just see there, the tension is in the fully backed off position. The drill bit there is just holding it in that position now. You can see the alternator belt slack there. I'm just going to pop it up in there. You could fiddle, it's quite fiddly to do. You could just do it all from the top, um, just sort of, but it's quite tricky to loop it all the way around. Um, so I'm just going to pop it up in the air, just take the under tray off quick, and then just show you the route in a bit better. So now that we've got it up in the air, I'm just going to take the under tray off quick. It's really straightforward and easy to get off. It's got this little trim across the front, it's held on with some torque screws. You need to take this trim off to access the screws underneath it. And we've got a couple on the side, and then there's a few just along the back as well. So just try to get them off as well. But I think there are torques 30 if you want for that. So, but we'll just whip that off and then be able to show you the alternator belt. So with the under tray off, we now access the auxiliary belt really well. So just simply unhook that off from around the pulleys, pull it out. I spotted this a few weeks back while we was doing the cam belt. We didn't actually have one at the time, so. Um, but the way to check it is just turn it inside out. If you pinch it up, you can see we've got a load of splits in there. So it's absolutely knackered, this one. What we're going to do now is just get the new belt. Just simply root it round. So it goes round the uh, really straightforward, simple one on this. Basically comes round the crank pulley, round the air con pump, up to the alternator, and then sort of down and underneath the tensioner. So we're gonna route it round, just make sure it's round all the pulleys, and we'll just go back up top and just drop the, uh, take the load back off the tensioner so we can just check it before putting the under tray back on. And we'll just do that quick now. What we're going to do now is just simply just hold the tension on slightly just so we can get the drill bit out just release it onto it just have a good look around when you've done it just make sure it looks like it's all okay on all the pulleys and you can just strike it up and just have a quick wash just make sure everything's running nice and true so just do that quick As right, so you can just see, that's running nice and true. So a really straightforward job, just doing the auxiliary belt on these. So if you want to check out the timing belt video, I've got some links in the description below to that as well. Uh, but yeah, if you um, if you like the video, give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you are interested in any of the parts or tools used, just check out the description below. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.